No. So factoring <laughs> is the inverse of multiplying. Write that down. Factoring is the inverse of multiplying. Okay, so a question. What did you observe about A, B, and C? Yeah. Okay, so let's go over what that means. So example, x squared plus 17x plus 72. I need to factor this into a binomial or two binomials. Now remember I talked about if I have these two numbers here, what must they add up to? What would you say? 17? I can't hear you. If I had two numbers here and I'm looking at this up here, what must these two add up to? They must add to 17. What must they multiply to? 72. So let's write the factors of 72. But to write them together. So two numbers that multiply to 72 are 9 and 8. Another 2? 36 and 2. Another two numbers, 12 and 6, 72 and 1, 4 and what? Really? Yep. 4 and 18, 3 and 24. These are all the factors, numbers that multiply to 72. Which one of these, if you add together, gives you 17? What is it? 9 and 8. So this is going to be x plus 9, x plus 8. So these two add to 17, multiply to 72. So a prime trinomial has no integers. Prime trinomial has no integers. Factors. So an example of a prime would be like x squared plus 4. x squared minus 3x plus 15. Okay. So let's do an example. What are factor pairs of negative 9? What two numbers multiply to negative 9? 3, negative, or negative 3 and 3, negative 1 and 9, negative 9 and 1. Is that it? Yeah, that is it, right? 
Which one of these have a sum of 8? Negative 1 and 9. Negative 1 and 9 multiply to negative 9 and have a sum of 8. So this is x minus 1, x plus 9. So that's the factored form. Let's try another. Factors of 21. 1 and 21, 3 and 7, and negative 3 and negative 7. Which one of these have a sum of negative 10? Negative 3 and 7, negative 7. These two add to negative 10, multiply to a positive 21. x minus 3, x minus 7. Numbers that multiply to 24. 1 and 24, or negative 24, sorry. Negative, negative 6 and 4. Negative 3 and 8. Negative 2 and 12. Which one of these have a sum of 5? Negative 3 and 8. So x minus 3 x plus 8. Okay, next one. What multiplies to negative 18? Nine and two. Okay. Negative 1 and 18. Negative 2 and 9. Negative 3 and 6. Remember, I can always flip-flop the negative, too. This could be a negative 6 and a positive 3. Which one of these have a sum of negative 3? Negative 6 and 3. Negative 6 and 3. So x minus 6. x plus 3. Okay. I want you to try to do one of these on your own. Then you could put your notebook away.